Hey everybody, what's up? I know it's been a minute. I have a perfectly good explanation for that. I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm doing my makeup. You guys can watch me get ready. We're gonna talk, we're gonna chat. Let's really get into it because I miss y'all and I know you miss me too. Or you're new and you're just checking out my channel and if that's the case, you need to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. I'm not gonna stop until you do. I'm gonna wait. I'm really gonna wait. You did it? I'll be checking. <laughs> Get comfortable if you eating, if you just watching, just watch, if you drinking, if you just sit back. We're gonna have a little key. Let's get into it. If my lips look like I got chicken grease on them, it's because I have on a lip mask, super hydrating lip mask. I have that on. I'm gonna let that sit while I do my makeup because you can do that with this product. Yeah, that's what this for. I have coffee. And I took my vitamins today. I'm lit. I'm starting with my eyebrows first. I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And this is in chocolate. So we're going to go in with her. I don't really like this pencil because it has real undertones in it. But we can always just freak it. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna shape this up really quickly. Yeah, I almost forgot. So, um, before I came on camera, I washed my face, did like a little facial, and I already told y'all that I did the lip mask, use the lip scrub to the Bomb Beauty Company as well. So I did all of that. So my face is pretty much prepped. This is from Pixie, and this is their Hydrate and Milky Mist. I'm just gonna spray this all over my face, and this takes care of me until I get to the face makeup, and it just makes my face like so supple, so soft. Just taking that right underneath there. This ain't really no makeup tutorial for real for real. I'm just telling y'all the products that I use and stuff like that. I haven't really been up to much except work. I ain't gonna lie to you, girl. Like, I've been struggling with business stuff. Well, not struggling, but you feel me? Just doing business stuff and just preparing for the end of the year and looking at all the stats and looking at where I've came from and looking where I'm at now and preparing for 2022 with my business because I have a lot of things in store. 2022 is already lined up and I already know what I want to do. It's just the matters of fully planning it out and doing it. 2020 was me establishing my business. 2021 was the foundation. And 2022 is going to be kickoff. I'm not playing with myself. I'm not playing with my potential anymore. Like I have so many things that I want to do with my business. I have so many things that I'm capable of through my business. And it ain't nothing but go time. I can't even think about it, to be quite honest with you. Like, I can think about it as in planning. I gotta just do it. Like, I'm that type of person. Because if I think about it, I'm gonna think about it way too hard. This is concealer that I'm putting on my eyelids as well. You have P. Louise base, but you feel me? I only use that on special occasion. I'm not playing with my potential in 2022. Like, I have so many things, so many dope ideas that just need to be executed can't wait to get that stuff done it allow people to see what's inside of my brain that i'm preparing to do it's not even me it's god himself putting that stuff into my brain on me being a vessel i just have no choice but to complete you know what he's asking me to do or just die trying I'm going in with the black radiance true complexion contour palette this is in dark deep i'm actually using this as an eyeshadow I'm taking this one right here. But yeah, 2022, I'm definitely getting serious with the YouTube because I feel like it's so much money that I missed out on with being inconsistent. If I put some real consistency to this, I feel like I would have definitely been able to monetize my channel by now. I started 
a um a entrepreneur life type series on here i want to you know take y'all into my world of just my business and stuff like that because that's all I do. I mean, like, I want to do the vlogging and stuff, but, like, girl, like, all I do is business stuff all day long. So, I mean, I might as well just go ahead and give you that. I'm using the Amreezy Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So, I'm taking this color right here, and this is going to be my transitional color. Yeah, I would love to give y'all, you know, weekly vlogs and stuff like that, but truth be told, my life is not that interesting i don't do anything except for be in the house a lot and not to the point where i never go out this is not content worthy now i'm going in with my eyeliner i don't really do wings i just like to draw over top of the natural like curvature of my eyeball i like to do that just to add some shape and dimension to my eyes You can kind of see the difference already. It's looking a little thin, but this is kind of just like a little placeholder until I put my eyelashes on. Because once I put the eyelashes on, you can't even see this for real, for real. So, hold on. Hold on. Let me get there. Let me get there. I had to go off camera really quickly and just go ahead and finish the eyeliner and apply my eyelashes. I had to really focus. So, I had to do that off of camera. Now, I'm back. So, for skin, I'm going to be using Black Opal. I'm going to be using... Kalahari sand and I'm gonna be using hazelnut because when I bought this I originally wanted this for, for me for my skin tone but it's a little bit too orangey so I'm just using this to balance everything out so I'm just taking like a blue pump equal parts of both foundation I'm just gonna mix it using this brush from real techniques real techniques got the best brushes by the way Yep, this is my shade right here, girl. Oh, so let me tell y'all the reason why I'm not necessarily a makeup artist anymore. I kind of don't really want to do makeup anymore. At least on other people, I don't. It's just not fun anymore. People make the process and the experience as draining as humanly freaking possible. You gotta deal with disgruntled customers. And I mean, you gotta deal with that anywhere. It's the whole different playing field when it comes to doing people's makeup. And I get it. You pay money for me to do a service and you want to look good for your special events. It's just not fun when these people, these customers try to come into your business and tell you what to do. You have to have boundaries within your business as well trust you you really do it's an escape and i want it to feel like an escape i don't want it to feel like a job and i definitely don't want it to feel like like a draining toxic process take it down here really quickly just so i can look like all of one color i'm gonna go on with fun uh concealer by la girl I'm about to go in with this concealer. I like to take fun and i like to put her like directly underneath my eyes like right here like literally right underneath my eyeball on my forehead my nose and then we're gonna put it on the chin and i'm also going to put it on my jaws as well because i just like that extra snatch look just putting some right here putting some right here so to blend out the concealer we're gonna use this crease brush that's what this purpose is but like makeup you can do whatever you want to do girl oh so i'm just going to spritz her with some rose water and we're going to blend it out you now i really don't really want to do makeup in terms of an actual service business because like people just at least in baltimore can't do this you can't do that they try to make up rules and when you starting out it's hard to be a makeup artist in baltimore it's hard because nobody gives you a shot nobody is willing to give you a chance and you have expectations on how you want to look what this person can do and how they can do it and stuff like that i totally understand but at the same time how do you get your foot in the door if nobody is willing to give you that chance i don't know maybe i gave up a little bit too easy with the makeup i don't know but i just didn't feel like it was for me people that i've been serviced i don't mind still doing their makeup new clients and stuff like that i'm not really taking that because i just don't feel like you know, having to be prejudged and all of that other stuff. I just want to do makeup. I'm into the stuff that they do over there in the UK. The UK girlies, the black UK 
UK girlies. UK girlies with the hijabs and the white uh UK girlies. They know something about the makeup game that we don't over here, okay? Their makeup it looks flawless. Their makeup looks beat and it's nice and colorful and pigmented. They don't play when it comes to the makeup. I'm more of a colorful girl. I've always been more on the colorful side. And I just feel like people in Baltimore, they just don't want color. <laughs> They love, they love these kind of looks. They live for these kind of looks. They live for the, for the soft matte brown. They live for the neutral makeup. I hate to say it in such a way that seems like I'm putting myself down or I'm counting myself out or I don't believe in myself. When you're running a business, you have to be super realistic about what's going on. And sometimes it just isn't working. And, you know, it's okay, but, you know, you have to take that time out to just pause and reevaluate and understand what's really going on at that particular moment in time. And for me, people really wasn't gravitating to what I was doing because I was more into the color with my business as well. Like, all of my new collections, they sell out instantaneously, but the more so bold colors, like, people be like, eh, I don't really know. I just hate the fact that Black girls really don't believe that they look good with color. I hate that. I love LA Girl Concealer and I've been vibing with it for a minute, but the only thing I hate about it, like the tops of these get so crusty and nasty, like to the point where you can't even do what you need to do. I have to take the little tip part and I like to pull it out just like that. And I'm trying to be as sanitary as possible. I kind of just like squeeze it out on my hand. I'm not dipping anything back and forth. Now I'm taking the Pure Beige. And this is the one I really go in with. I'm highlighting my face. Where I just like kind of bring this down a little bit lower. To sum it all up, I honestly just wasn't having fun with it. And there's no point in doing something that you're not having fun with. I had a many a times with my makeup artistry where I really doubted myself. Like, is this even worth doing? Am I doing it right? Or am I supposed to be doing it? I've had... Thoughts like that with the makeup. With my cosmetic line, I never ever had that thought. Like, I was just like, okay, I got these products. Now, how are we going to sell it? Kind of just been a very natural process. I, I really haven't had to think about much of it. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all and say that it's been a cakewalk. But it's definitely been a lot easier. I've definitely been capable of trusting myself a lot more. Also, I don't doubt my capabilities. I just don't think that it's garnering the attention that it needs in order for it to thrive as a business. As you can see, I didn't go with my cheekbones with this. I'm just doing this like this is this is where I want this makeup to really sit like in the center of my face. I really haven't like given it too much of a thought. And I kind of just fizzled out of it, to be honest with you. That's where my energy lies at right now. And to be quite honest with you, the only way I can really like hyper fixate on the people who really are gravitating towards the things that I'm doing is through my cosmetic line. All right, um, so now what I got to do is I got to contour this face. Now I'm just taking this darker shade, and this is where I'm going to carve out my cheekbones. I also like to go up against the jawline. Like, I don't mind going with a darker color with this because we're going to blend this more inward, if that makes sense. You'll see. You'll see. And what this is going to do, this is going to snatch all of this up down here. Because I got a double chin, girl. Now, because I'm lazy, I'm just using the same brush that I use for my foundation. And I'm just going to blend out this contour. 
Baltimore is just one weird little, it's, it's weird and it's small. Like that's the best way I can describe it. People here who have talent and are light years ahead of people who have that type of exposure. It's a plethora of people who can really go out here in this world and really do great things. But people here only support people that they know. Not rooting for the underdog. They don't care. Yeah, you cool. We hear you or whatever, but we not paying you no mind because you not popping. So this is what I was talking about. Now I'm just dragging this all the way down so we can get this uh, this chin together so we can not look like we have a turkey neck or a vagina neck. All right, so this is me blended. This is me unblended. And don't worry, it might look a little dark. That's what setting powder is for. Chill, girl, chill. Wait a minute, we not done yet. There's just a lot that goes on in Baltimore, but simultaneously, like, nothing at all. I don't know, like, it's just so selfish here. The perfect example is Atlanta. Everybody is in Atlanta supports each other. So now I'm going in with my satin powder. I'm using Black Radiance True Complexion as well. And this is in Banana. People in Baltimore do not support each other. And it's crazy because like in Atlanta, they go up for each other so hard. Be carrying, supporting, rocking other people brands like it's theirs so i just thought about it i'm actually gonna go in with this and use this one here so all of the dust don't fall on my eyelashes and i can get my eyebrows and i can sweep that off pretty easily They're not really paying attention to the people that's up and coming they don't really care about that and it's a travesty because i've been struggling with this word all day long travesty tragedy travesty tra tra travesty travesty it's a travesty because you know like people really have talent and people really you know like go out here and really do their thing but just don't have the support that they need to take them to the next level and that sucks sad reality to come to because there's so many people here who really do great things in Baltimore but they just can't find the shine for it so a lot of people they leave here and they go to Cali and they go to Atlanta to the places where they can go and get the notoriety or get the training or get the the skills for what they want to do oh and I know a lot of people who actually live in Atlanta I know they get so mad because everybody trying to live in Atlanta but Atlanta is the only place where you can make stuff happen and be black. I'm going back in with setting powder, but this time I'm using a darker shade. Literally just a shade darker. This one is called Honeymoon. I'm going to use this to outline my jaws. And we just going to... Because I don't know about y'all, but I love that. Look at that. Look at that. You can just see it already. That snatch, girl. Ooh. Look at that jaw, honey. Look at that jaw. Ew. <laughs> Still have this banana powder underneath my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and do my under eye. That way, all of the um, fallout from the under eye can just go ahead and I can sweep it off. I'm going to add some white in the inner corners of my eyes so bad, but I'm a crier. I'm a crier. And we ain't come this far to mess everything up. So, no. So now I'm just kind of blending in this setting powder just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and wipe my eyebrows off, my um, forehead off, wipe all of that away. Don't worry about the eyebrows because we're going to come back to the eyebrows. And then now I can wipe away the setting powder underneath my eyes. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and bronze the face after we wiped all the setting powder off because now I look dry. Y'all can't see it. It looked pretty good on camera in the um, viewfinder, but... Now I'm going in and I'm just going to go ahead and just bronze my face up a little bit. I'm using the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in Medium to Light. When I was doing makeup, I ain't going to lie to you. I was a little heavy handed with the bronzer. This right here, this just adds like the perfect little kiss to my skin that I need. That little warmth, that little glow 
that my skin needs. The same color that I use for my transition shade, I'm gonna take that on my nose and I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit. Also like to take this up into the brow bone. Cause I don't know if this looks better when like everything connects. So put that in there and I'm still blending everything out. So it don't look like a harsh line. I have a perfectly snatched snout. Don't ask me why I did that, cause I don't know. I don't know why I just did that. And then, to make it even more pinched, <laughs> we just gonna put a little bit of setting powder back on here. And just let that bake for a little bit. I gotta hurry up because this sunlight is starting to go down. This is the best blush ever. I got this um this contour palette from e.l.f. And I like to go in with this color over here. It's like a nice peachy coral, like orange color. So subtle. It's not dramatic. It's not crazy looking. It looks so good. This color right here is like the perfect color for brown skin. Like it looks good on all shades. And I'm telling you, like, I love this color of blush. I love it. I live every single time. I had the original palette, and I dropped it so many times, so all of the colors have fell out, including that one. So you want to know what I did, girl? I went and I got another one. I'm not using this for anything else but that color. You can use that as a lid shade. You can use that as a blush. So because I have a very round face, I like to take my blush up just like that. Nothing crazy. Okay, got the blush. And then now I'm gonna wipe away this little contour. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this lip mask off. This lip mask feels so good. I really put my blood, sweat, and tears into this lip mask. But we're not going to get into that. This ain't this ain't that. I'm using Energy. Energy. N-R-G. Get it? Energy. I'm using Energy by the Balm Beauty Company. She's a pretty brick red. We're going to use this and we're going to line the lips. These lip liners are so creamy. You can put this on your bottom lip. And then do this. You can see it's on my top lip. I'm going in with Bomb Beauty Company and I'm using Lady Luscious. She is a pale pink, a milky pink. Um, it's more so on the sheer side. So we're gonna use her. We're gonna put her all over the lips. And just like that, we done. Purr. 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 Okay, you guys. So, as you can see, I did my little hair. Whatever. Why am I talking like that? I really wanted some space buns, but, like, I don't know. It's my head. And then, on top of that, like, I could never just get the buns right. So, I was just like, I don't even want to do that anymore. I'm not even going anywhere. I'm just doing this just to do this. I actually need content for my business. So, yeah, you guys, that's all. That's all I have for you. It was nice talking to you guys. I definitely plan on getting back on my grind with YouTube. Y'all gonna get more of me in 2022. Like, definitely, for sure. So, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.